guys, it's Jen here from Just Jen, and today I am coming to you with the eyeshadow palette tag video. Now, this tag was started by Allie Glines and Samantha March, um, and it's ranking your favorite palettes based on different categories. So, there's 13 categories in total, and I'm going to go through and I'm going to share with you palettes from my collection. Um, that I love. It's talking about newest, oldest, most expensive, least expensive, smallest, largest, um, worth the hype, not worth the hype. So without further ado, I'm not going to take long. We're going to jump right in and get started. So first up is the newest palette in my collection, and that is the Nude Light by Huda Beauty. And let me tell you, I love this palette. It is absolutely stunning. Stunning. Um, this is another palette in their like obsessions line. So it's a nine pan palette. This one is for light skin tones. They do have warmer tones for darker skin tones and darker complexions. So you can really kind of get a palette that suits your needs. Um, but this one has, you know, some browns and some neutrals but it has the pinks and purples in it. And it is just seriously the most beautiful palette. I haven't used it yet. Um, but if you would like to see me film a look using this palette, please let me know in the comments down below. So excited about this. I just got it in the mail. So, all right. Oldest palette in my collection. The oldest palette in my collection is the Gen News Gen Nude Rose Eyeshadow Palette from Bare Minerals. Look, the writing's even coming off. So this Bare Minerals is kind of where I began my makeup journey. Um, and that's what it looks like. It's a very neutral eyeshadow palette. It's a six pan palette. It has a large mirror. Um, as you can see, I've dipped into it quite a bit, especially these shimmer shades. Um, you can easily create a couple of looks. This is nice to travel with and it's a good quality. So I do enjoy, we're gonna start up here on my arm, like this shimmer, like look at that. So I mean, Bare Minerals has good quality shimmers. Um, I absolutely love it. So. Yes, so that is my oldest palette in my collection and really how I started my makeup journey. I started with this one teeny tiny palette, so, and look where I am now. All right, most expensive palette. This one was hard for me, um, but I will have to say that my most expensive palette in my collection is my Urban Decay Naked Cherry palette. This is a new palette in my collection as well. Um, I haven't even used it yet but I did not pay full price. I think this retails for $49 and I got it for 50% 50 50 off. So I did not pay full price for it, but if I were to, this would be the most expensive palette in my collection. And it is absolutely beautiful. This is my first Urban Decay palette. So I am excited about it, the cherry. So there is what the palette looks like. It's got the pinky tones, the rose golds, all of that. It has some neutrals, it has a brown, it has mattes and shimmers. So I know I will be able to create a lot of looks with this. So again, if you would like to see me create some looks with this, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I was really excited to get my hands on this. I've never tried the Urban Decay formula, so this is the first time that I am. Um, let me, I'm just going to swatch one color. So I'm digging my fingers in for the first time. And yeah, so that's, this one right here is from that Naked Cherry palette. It's gorgeous. So looking forward to that. So the Nude Light and the Naked Cherry are new to my collection. Um, most affordable like everybody else, it's the e.l.f. quads. I only have one, the Rosewater Bite Size Quad is the only one that really kind of spoke to me. Um, these have gotten a lot of hype because you literally can create a look 
with this quad, it's great for travel, you know, all of that. Um, for what it is, I think it's good quality. It's definitely like when you hold it up next to Huda Beauty and Urban Decay, obviously it's not as blinding of a shimmer. Um, it is, you know, it's a $3 palette though. So you can't really complain. I think it's well worth the money. Um, but if you're expecting it to be like a dupe for Natasha Denona, don't get your hopes up because it's not going to be. Um, so yeah, so that is the Elf Quad and it's $3 and they have a ton of them. So whatever color story kind of speaks to you, you can find it. They have some nude ones. They have a pumpkin pie one. They have blue, they have green, they have purple. Um, but the rose water one is the one that kind of fits my life. So as you can tell from the palettes I've shown so far, I'm drawn to these colors. So, but it's a really good palette and I've used it a bunch already and I like it. So everyday palette, my every day palette, Hold on one second. Nick, will you get me in the drawer? Will you get me my makeup wipes, please? Yes, please. I have my son helping me right now. So before I touch my palette, I want to wipe, no, the makeup wipes to wipe my hands off. I want to wipe my hands off because, well, I've been swatching. Thanks, babe. Okay. Thank you. All right, go play. I'm going to stay here. Okay, shut the door and sit down there. I now have an audience. No, sit over there. All right, so now that I've cleaned my hands off, Everyday Palette is definitely, without a doubt, um, my Bare Necessities palette from ColourPop. This palette is, it's a little bit of a larger palette but it literally has every neutral shade you could possibly want in a palette. Um, it is absolutely beautiful and you can create so many looks. You can do just a single eyeshadow look and run out the door. You can create a daytime look with just neutrals. You can deepen it up and create a nighttime look. You can do so much with this palette and ColourPop is an amazing quality for the price. I mean, it's awesome and these you know the shimmer shades are really pretty and then the more glittery shades like this one is pricks fixie this is more of like a golden nude i mean look at the pigment on that it's insane and then i'll give you just kind of one of my sh the, the shimmer that's not necessarily the glittery too glittery that's in spree i mean it's absolutely beautiful so for the price, ColourPop is extremely pigmented and this is definitely a palette that you can use to create everyday looks. So if you don't have this, I would highly recommend it. I know the Going Coconuts one is extremely popular. I haven't seen it, but honestly, I think a lot of the shades, like I think some of these shades here are in that palette. So I have this, I'm not sure if I need Going Coconuts, but it's one that interests me because I am into nude tones. So I may pick that one up if it comes back in stock, but this one here is amazing. So everyday palette. All right, so next on the list is most colorful. And that would have to be the Sugar Crystals palette from Violet Voss. I mean, I think it goes without saying. Every single color is a bright shade. I do like with this palette how it has, you know, the mattes up here that are ultra bright, but then it has shimmers that are kind of a mid-tone and shimmers that are a light tone. So I could see myself maybe incorporating these two rows into a look, but I'm not sure I'll, I'd ever dip into these matte shades. I mean, they're pretty intense. Let me swatch this purple. I'll swatch a few of them. So 
And the formula to me is just okay. I have a couple other Violet Voss palettes um, that I really like, but this one's just okay to me. It's kind of, those mattes seem kind of patchy even on a swatch. Um, so I'd be interested to see what they did on the eye. However, the shimmers in this are pretty impressive. Like, so there's shimmers. Like, those are pretty nice. So if I wanted to create a colorful look, which I don't gravitate towards all that often, let's be honest, um, I would definitely tap into some of these shades. So it's a really pretty palette. I think, I don't remember what this one retails for, but it's pretty pricey. But I actually received this for free from BoxyCharm, so I didn't, I mean, I paid for my box, but I didn't pay full price for this palette, so... That is my most colorful one. That's really the only super colorful palette in my collection because like I said, I'm definitely more of the pinks, purples, nudes, kind of that romantic kind of look. That's more what I gravitate towards. All right, smallest palette. At first I thought it was gonna be the e.l.f. quad again. However, when I got into my makeup drawer, I found this little trio from Model Co that looks like this. So when you hold it up to the e.l.f. palette, it is kind of, they're kind of neck and neck for me, but this one might be a little bit smaller. But when you open it up, it looks like that. I honestly forgot I had this. I don't even think I've ever used it. I'm sure I got it in an Ipsy or an Allure or something, um, but it's definitely on the warmer side, so I've never used it. But, Let's swatch it and see. Like I could definitely, just looking at it on my hand, I definitely could see using it like in the fall to create like a nice fall look. And it's pretty pigmented, so I don't know. But that is what it looks like. So it's pretty awesome. So yeah, so that's my smallest one. And like I said, these were pretty close. So I mean, neck and neck almost but this really is smaller. All right, my biggest palette. That one was really easy because there's one that is ginormous compared to the others. And this is also a new palette to my collection. I've kind of went on a palette buying spree. So I've brought a lot into my collection recently and I'm looking forward to using it. But that would be a Morphe palette. I mean, look at this thing. It is huge. If you own the Jaclyn Hill palette or the James Charles palette, you know that Morphe makes some giant palettes, but this is the 39S Such a Gem Artistry palette. And when I open it up, you will see why I bought it because anybody that knows me on my channel knows what I like and bam, like that's what I like. So this is a stunning palette if you like pinks and purples, but I mean, there's also some mattes mixed in there, so it's not all shimmery. There's quite a few shimmers. There's even some pressed, a few pressed glitters. Like, look at that, ultra glittery. Um, and that pressed glitter is like really pretty. I could see wearing that like on a New Year's Eve or something, like creating a look. Um, so yeah, there's a mix of mattes and shimmers. I'll swatch a few for you. This kind of icy shade, it's kind of a mix between a silver and a blue. It's really pretty. Let's do this purple matte just for the heck of it. And with Morphe, sometimes, Morphe has always been hit or miss for me. Sometimes it's really great. Other times it can be, some of the shadows can be a little bit patchy. Um, but overall, this seems like good quality. That's a purple matte in there you can see this shimmer just a regular shimmer shade yeah like it's pretty nice so i'm definitely looking forward to playing with it it is out it doesn't fit in my palette drawer so it is out with some of my other palettes on display so hopefully that means it will cause me to reach for it quite a bit um 
but yeah, Morphe. The only thing I don't like about Morphe, and I know this is a total side note, but is that they don't include the color names on the palette. It's on the sheet, like the plastic cover. So if you want to know the shade names, you have to keep that little plastic sheet in there. So, you know, first world problems though, right? All right, I am super glittery now from all these glitters and shimmers and pressed glitters and all right. The next one is Best Memory. And I couldn't help but think of my Too Faced White Peach Palette when I thought of Best Memory with a palette. And the reason is, is that this is the first high-end palette that I purchased on my own that didn't come in a subscription box or anything like that. So I bought this one. I didn't pay full price for it. Full disclosure, I got it at Marshalls. So I didn't pay the Too Faced price tag for it, but I still paid a decent amount for it. And it's still to this day, it is just a gorgeous palette. Like it's, it's stunning. It has mattes, it has shimmers, it has glitters. Um, you can create a really icy look. You can deepen it up and create an evening look. I used this shade here on New Year's Eve this year, and it was just, I created such a pretty look with it. Um, so I really like that one, but yeah, this was my first like big time makeup purchase that I made, um, when I was getting into makeup. So I don't know if I could ever see myself getting rid of this palette. I love it. It smells good. It's pretty. I love Too Faced packaging, like it's just, it's a great palette. So if you don't have this palette, I would highly recommend it. But um, yeah, that is my best memory. All right, worth the hype. And I know some people are gonna disagree with me and that's okay. Cause that's what, that's what we're here for, to agree, disagree, whatever. But worth the hype for me already. And this is, I can't believe I'm saying this again. This is another new palette to my collection, um, but worth it to me is the Carly Bible palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And honestly, I think the Anastasia palettes in general seem to be worth the hype. So this one is definitely one of her more colorful palettes. Um, and I'm still kind of, I haven't tapped into some of these shades down here, but this shade right here, Bali, as you can see, there's already a big dip in it. I love that shade. It's, I'm wearing it on my lids right now. It's nice and sparkly. It's pretty. Um, I absolutely love it. So when I'm going for more of a shimmery look, I guess, this would definitely be a palette I would reach for. And I also like it because it's pigmented, but it's not so over the top that I won't wear it. Does that make sense? Because for day to day, I don't do like giant flashy looks. It's just not who I am. But I can do a little pop of color and a little bit of shimmer. And it's, it's fine because it's, it's pigmented, but it's not too bad. There is my the only downside to this palette, and I'm sure a lot of people will agree with me regarding Anastasia palettes in general, is there's a lot of fallout. So I don't know if you can even see on my face right now, and I do have highlight on, but there was glitter fallout. And I tried to get it off, but it didn't necessarily come out. But overall, I am enjoying this palette so far. So yeah not worth the hype to me and again some people are probably going to disagree are the dose of colors blushing palettes um this one is the blushing berries and it has and i like dose of colors as a brand don't get me wrong but this palette in particular is just really dark for me like it's super dark. Sorry, I'm showing you my swatches and everything. Um, 
it's pretty and I mean and it's an all matte palette I just when these came out people went crazy over them and maybe if I'd got more of a color story that suited me I might like it but I mean it's just they're very harsh on me so for that reason if they're just not worth the hype to me um, especially being one two they're a five pn palette it's one color story so if you want to create multiple looks you got to buy multiple palettes um and you can really create very few looks with this palette so one thing i will say is the packaging is really pretty it's really nice like it's great packaging it's travel friendly it's easy to toss in your bag and take it with you um, but to me, it just wasn't worth the hype. Sorry, Joseph Colors. All right. Favorite brand or favorite palette from a favorite brand. This one was easy. Favorite brand. One of my favorite brands is ColourPop. That's not a secret. Um, And one palette that I have absolutely fallen in love with that you don't really hear about much because they do constantly come out with palettes. They have so many palettes, I can't keep up. But this is the Flutterby palette from ColourPop. And again, it's very much my color story that I gravitate to. It has some purples, some golds, some rose golds. Um, has some matte shades, some color shades. It has a pressed glitter. Um, this color up here in the corner, which is called Just Imagine, is absolutely stunning on the lid, especially if you just tap it into like the inner corner and the inner corner half of the lid, it's gorgeous. Um, so I don't think this palette got as much hype as it deserves, but they're constantly coming out with so many new palettes that you can usually find similar color stories or similar colors in other palettes. So, did I get... I totally got makeup or something on my face. I'm looking at the monitor and I'm like, girl, you got something on your face. I totally did. That's hysterical. Sorry about that. Never a dull moment with just Jen. So yes, so the Flutter by palette for me from ColourPop is the bomb.com. Like, I love it. All right, last but certainly not least is the most used palette and that would be my Essence Salute Paris palette. I don't know why I gravitate to this one so much and Essence is a great brand. Um, I absolutely love it but the Paris one is just it's very light it's very it's got the grays got the pinks the mauvey tones it's very um, romantic I guess you could say like it's a very I mean it does have Paris and the Eiffel Tower on the front so romance kind of goes with that territory um, but I do just I love this palette. Like if you can get close, you see I've made quite a dent here, quite a dent here. I've used these two shades a lot. I haven't used this brown shade too, too much. Um, because honestly, this is one of my palettes that I use when I'm in a hurry. Just need to get something on my lids and go because I know that it's going to work for me. This retails for $9.99, but you can always get it on sale at Ulta. They always do like a buy one, get one 50% off sale. What is on my face now? A fuzzy. I'm having issues, guys. So, yeah. So, I paid like $7.99 for this. $5.99 actually, I think, on sale. So, totally worth it. And it, it works good. I mean, is it the most blinding shimmers and things? No, but for the price, you really can't beat it. And it having that like gray tone in there really makes a difference because you can totally smoke it out um, and all that jazz. So it's just, 
I love the Essence brand in general, so it's a good palette. So there you go, and the packaging is so cute. All right, so there you have it. There is my eyeshadow palette tag video. I love that I have a mix of high-end and drugstore and, you know, things that I've gotten in subscription boxes, things I've bought on my own. Like, it's a really good mix of palettes. And is it all of my palettes in my collection? No. Does that mean I don't love the other palettes? No. It was just based on what was asked. This, this is what I came up with. So, once again, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you are new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit that bell for little notifications so you don't miss any of my videos here. And if you are returning, thank you so much. I love chatting with you guys. Let me know if you have any of these palettes down below, if any are your faves. Um, or if there's palette, you know, out there that you think I need to try, let me know that too, because I'm always looking for something new and until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.